Hey, y'all. Welcome back to Home and Heart with Angel. I'm Angel. Thanks for being here today. We are cooking up a healthy, hearty, yummy chicken pot pie soup. Hey, it's my little one. Um, <laughs> so this is uh, one of my, I'm, I'm making videos for those of you uh, who don't know, I used to do a lot of Facebook live cooking. And so if you've been, you know, part of part of my life, you've seen some of these recipes, but these are new for, for YouTube. So just bear with me while we get through some of our favorites. So um, I took two packs of chicken breast um, a couple days ago and I cooked them all. It's hard knowing which way to angle this thing because you can't even see the food, see my face. Um, anyway, I cooked them all at one time. I just seasoned them with, you know, salt, pepper, Tony Sachery, um, onion powder, garlic powder. And um, there, it's, it's almost equivalent to just going to the grocery store and grabbing you a couple of rotisserie chickens that you could have on hand and just pull apart and throw into some you know, soups or wraps or salads to just make life easy during the week. So sometimes I'll pre-cook uh, a batch of chicken or shrimp or whatever it may be, something that I know, you know, will reheat well and um, throw it in the refrigerator and just take it out as I want to use it. So um, t I used two yesterday. I made a, a, a pasta dish in the crock pot actually. And um, I covered it with cheese and it melted and it was really good, but we ate the leftovers for that for lunch today. I did not record that, um, maybe next time, but today um, I'm going to do the pot pie. Chicken soup. Uh, just a second. So let me grab some tongs. Um, it might be. Okay, there's some for lunchtime. Um, so I have five left in here, and I'm, my plan for tomorrow is to do a big, huge um, taco soup. It's my kid's favorite. And I am going to record that too. Because that's, other than gumbo, that's probably our favorite <laughs> soup. And so I want to record that for you guys. So I'm going to leave the three breasts for that, and I'm going to do just the two for this. So this will be enough for today's um, dinner and tomorrow's lunch. <sighs> tomorrow's lunch, y'all are gonna be at CC, so we might have a little bit of leftovers, but I'm still gonna do the taco soup um, so we can eat on that over the weekend. So I'm gonna get this um, chicken chopped up. Actually, Whoops, dropped my phone. Actually, what I was gonna say I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get my onion um, and a little bit of celery chopped up and into a pot to start kind of working up some goodness. So let me move my big chicken. Let's tilt this, let's try this again. Okay, all right, so. I'm eventually gonna get two cameras, but for now, Mama's just working with one. And that's gonna have to be good for now. So if you want, if if you want easy ways to cook during the week, um, some hacks would be buy you rotisserie chicken buy you the containers of pre-chopped seasoning. They're like 350 and you could, that would last you two meals. And they have the freezer bag of the pick sweet. Um, like it's a blend of onion, celery, bell pepper and parsley, I believe. That would be awesome. Let me turn my stove on. They pour some olive oil in there. All right, so yeah, so um, literally by doing that, you would just pour that right into your pan, 
shred your chicken off the bone or um yeah off the carcass um and you could do like the little baby carrots i would just dice them up a little bit smaller because they're kind of big um you get potatoes you could you know get smaller ones if you want like these are and just you don't have to do so many cuts as if you were to get big ones and just throw it all in the pot to simmer for a few minutes while it, all your vegetables get a little soft is anybody else going on treasure hunt for everything you need hmm. just me Big old board. I was looking for my little scraper. Let me pick my stuff up. Might have to move this big thing. It's so heavy. Alright, so we got the um the onions in. You'll we'll start here in the table. Alright, looking good. I happen to have some carrots that I had pre-chopped the other day that I didn't need or use. So I am going to, um, I'm just gonna make them a little smaller. Um, so if you wanna do real quick and easy, you don't even have to buy fresh potatoes. You could buy the can of um, the little diced potatoes and you could just throw that in. Uh, those are already cooked. So I would wait till kind of closer to the end so they don't um, just fall apart and get mushy. But if you really want fast, you could even do that. Right? <clears throat> I have used all those hacks before. There is no shame. You got to do what you got to do. This is a little tedious, but it's okay. Absolutely love carrots in my soups. I think this will be a great addition to a chicken pot pie soup. So I'll have um, some fro frozen corn and some frozen peas I'm also going to throw in. And then I'm also, um, I have some uh, cream. You could use half and half. You could use milk. You could um, just make you a little bit of a blonde roux at the beginning. Throw it in some flour in with your onions and your butt and your uh, olive oil and cook it up till it's like a you don't want to cook it towards any shade of brown but just cook it for like five minutes to get rid of the raw flour flavor and if you add milk to that that will be your thickener if you wanted to keep it like locale and not use cream you can use half and half like i said so it's adaptable to your taste buds but you don't want it to be watery so that's why you would make a roux another way to thicken a soup is to use cornstarch. I prefer not to use cornstarch. I prefer to do a roux. I don't know if it's just the idea in my head or, and I just, you know, feel more comfortable and like familiar. I don't know, whatever, with a roux. And it's more of like a homemade way to go. Maybe I just don't like the idea of adding all that cornstarch. And sometimes I feel like the texture gets to be a little bit, um, I don't want to say gloopy, but kind of like that. When you use cornstarch, it gets like sticky-ish. I don't know if we are. Anyway, that's why I prefer to make a roux. But hey, I, 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 I have done that. No big deal. That's what you need to do. If you're not comfortable making a roux or you don't have flour on hand, throw your cornstarch in. You just make a little cornstarch slurry means just a little cornstarch mixed in with a little water. Stir it around, that's a slurry, and you pour that in. You gotta bring it up to boil or it will not thicken. This is what we got going on so far here. I am not trying to brown these onions, but like I told you guys, I'm somewhat impaired. I do not know how to cook everything on high. <laughs> so let me turn that down. It does, you heard it, it smells good. You can already smell it. Um, oh, I forgot my celery. That was supposed to go in with my onions, but that's okay. It won't hurt anything. They just take a little longer to cook. That's the only reason I'm saying that. 
So let me turn this down. I'm putting it like, like low to just slow down the cooking process. Let me wash this real quick. I love celery. I chomp on it like Mr. Ed. My husband is like, what on earth? You want to dice this up kind of small, obviously, because I want us to be able to cook in time, but also, um, it's not, uh, not everybody's favorite ingredient in the soup. I don't know why. They maybe don't like the look of green and stuff. My niece doesn't like it. <laughs> so I cut it up small enough, it'll blend in. That'll do. And the celery is a very strong flavor, so I'm not going to add a whole lot. I'm gonna pop these bad boys in as well. These carrots. Sorry, that's a little wonky. I'm afraid my phone will fall if I mess with it too much. helping to cool the pot down a little bit which is another reason I'm just going ahead and throwing that in so my onions don't get too brown you want the soup white and if you brown your onions it will pick up that color into the cream let me actually get a little more so I can slow down the cooking a little bit I just added a few tablespoons of water to kind of slow down that heat. So that way, my onions stop browning. All right, you want to cut these into little dices because if, you know, you think about a pot pie, um, that's just little diced pieces of vegetables. Kind of like you want them all the same size as of a corn and a pea. A little bite size. Whoops, there you go, Sassy. She ain't gonna eat that. She's not like a regular dog. She doesn't eat stuff you drop. She was raised by cats. She likes cat stuff. All right. So this takes a little bit of time. Just dicing a few vegetables. Other than canned going the can route with potatoes. I don't see another way around that to kind of shorten up your cooking time. I mean, we already talked about the other hacks with the seasoning, but, and the carrots, but the celery, well, the celery would be in the seasoning. So that would, it would really just pretty much be your potatoes. That wouldn't be too bad. You dice these any old way that you can get her done, right? You want things pretty much as close to size as you can so they all cook uniformly. You have some mushy and some still crunchy. I'm gonna go ahead and do them all because I don't know what I would use like two rogue potatoes for over the next few days. So we might have a little more potatoes than the rest, but honestly, who would mind having a little bit extra potatoes? If y'all's kids are like mine, they love them. I had to chop up a few potatoes. Oh, I wanted to mention you do not have to peel red potatoes or yellow. That's why I like to buy them. <laughs> because you don't have to peel them. 
Hack number five. Get potatoes with skins that are soft that you can eat. Save your time peeling the potatoes, right? Right. All right, let's get these in. to catch. Okay, let's go look at the pot. All right, here we are. This is what we have going so far. We have our onions looking delicious. Our celery, our carrots, and our potatoes all in there. Becoming acquainted with one another. Becoming great friends. <laughs> okay, so cool. I don't really have a recipe per se. I don't know if you would need to add this now or later, but I think I've done it both ways and I don't think it matters. We're adding it now. You want to add about the same amount as all the other vegetables in there. All right, I'm grabbing my peas. Big bag of peas. I'm going to open them up. Pour some in. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> Pun intended. Okay, so now we have all our vegetables in. They're all getting acquainted with one another. Now let's chop up the chicken. All right, I'm gonna tilt it down. You know, I'm sure you know how to chop chicken and what that might look like. Still fun to watch something, right? All right, here we are. It's beautiful, seasoned. Let me cut it the other way. Chicken breast. You can shred it, you can chunk it, it really doesn't matter. If you're buying a rotisserie chicken, it's gonna end up getting shredded um, anyway. I like to do chunks, almost like the potatoes, kind of like just bite size everything. that over. Save a little bit of stuff for the puppy. Perfect. Looks great. You'd be surprised how far a couple of chicken breasts will go when you throw it into a pot of soup. See where that little thing is, that little lump. Good chicken. Y'all see how much that made? A lot. So that's gonna be awesome. Let me drop this in and then I'll show you all the pot. Right. Let me 
when we're back over. Oh, it's looking like chicken pot pie, isn't it? All the ingredients we find in a pot pie. And then we're going to find in the soup. It's going to be delicious. Alright, for our broth, we're going to want chicken broth. So you can save your chicken broth that you cooked your chicken in, which I did. I don't know if the kids threw it out wondering what it was. It was, um, it was in a little, what did I pour it in? Wait, that was in the crock pot, just like juice from the chicken. Oh wait, it's in the bowl, it's in the bowl. It's in the bowl. So this is gonna be chicken stock I'm gonna pour in. and um, then your milk and your cream. All right, I'm gonna turn it back up because we gotta get that, all that liquid and all those frozen veggies heated up. And um, I'm gonna add a little more water to this. Oh, let me show you what else I bought. Did I buy it? You might not have bought it. Because I was like, I think I have some, I don't have some, I don't have some, I don't have some. Oh yeah, you garlic. Throw you some garlic in. I'm using the already cut stuff today. Hack number six. Um, is the chicken base, which I've talked to y'all about before. I don't think I have any. I don't need any really because this is full of chicken flavor. So I'm just going to add a little more water to it. Um, just enough to cover the food because it's not, it, that broth was great, but it wasn't enough. As you can see, it's still like, you know, not covered. So I wanna cover the food and let everything boil. So we're trying to let this, um, we're trying to let this come to a boil real quick and to soften up our potatoes and our carrots and um, celery and whatever. Just let everything kind of start meld together and taste like one. Um, once that happens, you pour in your cream and you don't boil that. And it's pretty much it. If you want to make a side of garlic bread or cornbread, you can do that. Crackers, whatever you like. So um, let me get some water in there. Oh, and I'm going to get out some flavor seasonings. We'll get it up to boil and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Sorry, but when I filmed the part when I poured in the cream and my seasonings, I had my phone tilted the wrong direction, so I don't have that for you on film. I could put a piece in there and it would be small with the black edges, but I'm trying to not do that. We'll see what I end up editing. I don't know. But anyway, this is what it's looking like. I have it on a low simmer, I'm trying to thicken it up a little bit. I did add a little more water probably than I should have. It's looking delightful. All okay. right. Very easy on the seasonings. I'm so boring. I know. I add that to everything. Um, this goes in everything. This goes in everything. That would be onion powder and garlic powder. And I made my life easy by adding... There you are. It's little. It's a little guy. Poultry seasoning. If you don't have poultry seasoning, you could just add your individual sage, rosemary, thyme. But I have poultry seasoning. So a little sprinkle of that. So we're going to let this simmer a little bit longer. Thicken up a little bit. And then we're going to give it a taste. Yay. All right. Okay. How is it? It's delicious. Yes. Mm -hmm. Excuse my big giant wood bowl. So good. Delicious. Oh, she wants to eat it now. Yeah. So good. Ooh. It feels so good to me. Okay. Well, I'm going to grab it. It's just really hot. It's really hot. There isn't any ice? No, no. I just found it. So I put some on the top. Is that yours? The fr it's because the freezer, you have to open it and close it, and that one. Sometimes people do the opposite. 
Anyway, so much drama. So much. I have purple. Oh, let me know what you want. Well, leave that cat alone. This oh. tastes exactly like the inside of a chicken pot pie. It's like if you were giving we need some crust. They do have some garlic bread in the freezer. Ooh, Throw it in the air fryer real quick. Like a, like a, some buttery croutons on top. Mm. Mm. Next time. I'm try that. Mm. All right, what do y'all taste? What do y'all taste? taste? What are the flavors? Chicken cream. You put broth. Chicken cream. Broth here, mm -hmm. I can taste the celery. Celery. What do you taste? The chicken, and cream. the chicken and cream. The chicken and cream. I do. She said, Whoa. How can it's a little hot? <laughs> Is it hot, my little one? No, you just got a little worried. You giving it a try? Is it good? Uh huh. It told you. <laughs> told you. Yeah. What? Are, how is it, boy? It's good. <laughs> you gotta get Alan's reaction. Well, Come on. I don't even have my food. <laughs> no, it's good. Just like Here's it. a lot of us. You noticed. It's good. Right. My husband will eat his meal prep. Unfortunately, he will mm -hmm. not get to. Root just ran straight through your leaves in, in your garden. I know he's bad. He tried to get the cat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a ch chunk of the chicken. Some of the chicken stayed in chunks. Some of it shredded. Good. Yeah, good. Everything yeah, stayed good. in its shape. It that didn't turn to mush. Mm -hmm. Perfectly seasoned. Mm -hmm. I have this little single bowl right here. You do? No, Allie. Oh, Allie does? Yeah. You ready, Allie? Not yet because this is too hot. This is too hot. <laughs> <laughs> You got a cute little old style corral bowl. Yeah. And I don't feel like washing a spoon. Is anybody else low on um, silverware? Good! Delicious! Yeah. That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay. This All right. Spoon for me. Yeah. We need more flatware around here. It's too little hot. It's too little hot? Yeah. All right. Hot. There you have it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven thumbs up, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Seven mm -hmm. thumbs up. All right. Y'all make it. It's easy, fun, delicious. Well, it could be a little less fattening if you varied your recipe with skim milk, regular milk, half and half, whatever. But we went all out this time. All right, well, thanks for joining us here on my channel. Like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all tomorrow when I make taco soup. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna like it. I'm gonna like it. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> it's the ch -ch -ch. I was shaking my maracas. Oh, they're gonna drop. No, I was shaking my maracas for my chicken soup. Uh, I'm gonna eat my chicken soup tomorrow. I meant to say my taco soup. Yeah. So good, so so good the soup. Okay, bye. What?